In this lesson, we will talk about tailwind variants. You can view tailwind variants as an if statement. They apply utility classes conditionally. For example, we give the H1 tag a green background. We create the background color using the BG green class. This class will be applied to the H1 tag permanently. If we prefix the BG green class with the hover variant, things change. This class will only be applied when the cursor is hovering on top of the H1 tag. If the cursor is out, it will be removed. Under the JIP mode, all variants have been enabled for all Tailwind utilities. We do not need to manually pair them anymore. We will learn more about this later. For now, just remember, once you have turned on the JIP mode, you can prefix any Tailwind class with any variant. Our own component classes can also work with variants. For example, we have defined a comp class which sets a yellow text color. Let's use it together with the hover variant. We find the P tag and only keep the comp class. Then we add hover variant. We can see the comp class has been removed from the P tag, but hovering the cursor on top of the P tag won't bring it back. So what went wrong? The JIP mode has enabled all variants for all utility classes, but our custom component classes are not included. We need to manually declare supported variants using the variants directive. If you have more than one variant, separate them using a comma. Now the comp class can work with the hover variant. When we put the cursor on top of the P tag, the text color turns yellow. Next, we enable the active variant for the comp class. Then we apply the comp class to the first button. Now, when we click the first button, the comp will be applied to it. We go back to the Tailwind config file. We can find an option named Variants. Since we have turned on the JIP mode, this option is no longer needed. It will be ignored. Tailwind has lots of variants and even more utilities. Before the JIP mode, Tailwind runs an initial build. To save resources, only commonly used variants and utilities will be bound together. Less commonly used ones won't. If we need a utility to support a variant, we manually pair them together in the Variants option. Most of the time, you want to enable a utility to support more variants, so we should put our codes in the Extend section. The syntax is simple. We assign an array to the utility name and list variant names in that array. For example, the background color utility now supports two more variants, odd and even. We have extended its list of supported variants. If we move the statement to root level of the variants option, then things change dramatically. We are not adding new variants. We are actually replacing existing settings. Now the background color utility only supports the odd and even variants. The same also applies to the theme option above. Most of the time, we just want to add new settings. We rarely need to completely replace existing ones. Since we have turned on the JIP mode, the variants option is no longer needed. We can disable it.